twig, we've been walking for hours, and we still haven't reached the lake. You sure you know where we are going? Of course I know where we are going. It's just over this hill. You've said that for the last three hills. Hey, this isn't the lake. You don't say. Here I thought velociraptors were supposed to be smart. Well, you're a bird. Why don't you just fly up into the air to get a better view? Oh, that's right. You can't fly. Your stubby little wings can't lift your big fat body. I can't fly, but you can. Wait, what? Ah. Oh hey, I see the lake. Yeah, we've been going the opposite direction. Of course. Finally, some prey. Yup, I don't care if it takes all day. We are not leaving this field until we catch something to eat. Well, I'm out of here. Hey, Twig, you coming, or what? Twig? Hey Numskull, we need to leave. Do you not see the T-Rex? How could I not see her? I can't take my eyes off of her. Wait, what? She's like an angel. Ugh, gross. I hate the swamp. It stinks, and everything's all wet and goopy. Yeah, and don't forget about all the pesky bugs. Get out to here you pesky bug. Oh great, bug bite. And of course it's right on that spot on my back that's hard to scratch. So annoying. So, let me get this straight. You are gonna reap me? You're done right. I'm sick of busting my hump every day for just a few measly scraps of meat. So I came up with a brilliant idea. If I kill just one mammoth, I'll be set for life. I'll never have to hunt again. Wow. That is a brilliant idea. Can't believe nobody's thought of it before. Absolutely genius. Ah, I might have made a slight misjudgment. I got you now. Hey Smiley, what are you doing? Hunting? Wow, can't believe you got this clothes without being noticed. You must be really sneaky. Oh, never mind it saw you. Not that sneaky apparently. Maybe you just need to be quiet next time. That might help. Gah. It's just a suggestion. You need to learn to take criticism. Oh boy, I'm exhausted. I think I'll rest underneath this nice tree. Not a tree. That was close. At least now I can rest on this big squishy tree branch. Gah. This isn't a tree branch. Phew. Another close call. I think I'll just nap on this big hairy rock. Seriously dude. Big hairy rock. You can't possibly be that stupid. Gasp. Another sneaky disguise. I wasn't even standing still. Jeez. All that running for my life really wore me out. At least now I can finally rest on this bumpy floating log. Hey babe, you find any food? Yeah, I also met this strange little velociraptor. Ahem. What the, you again? What are you doing here? Is this guy bothering you? He's my boyfriend you idiot. What, boyfriend? But, I thought I was your boyfriend. Why would you think that? You don't even know my name. Yes I do. It's Philberta, right? It's Roxy. That was my second guess. After Philbertha? Hey babe, you gonna eat that or? No, don't eat him. Listen little guy, you're a sweetheart, but we'd never work. I think we should just be friends. But don't worry, you'll find someone someday. You know what they say, there's plenty of fish in the sea. Just next time don't try to catch a fish that's 500 times your size. You're just lucky I find you adorably pathetic, otherwise I definitely would have killed you by now. See you around, shrimp. She thinks I'm adorable. Hello everyone. Ah, a T-Rex. 
run away. Everyone's terrified of me. I wish they'd just give me a chance. If they'd just get to know me they might. Who am I kidding? I'm never gonna have any friends. Hey there. Don't be sad. I'll be your friend. Huh. Really? Aren't you, you know, afraid of me? Well, you may look a bit intimidating, but you can't judge a book by its cover. It's what's on the inside that counts. And everyone deserves a chance at friendship. Everybody hates me. Jeez, I'm so hungry. Yeah, where's all the prey? There's gotta be something out here to eat. Yeah, there's gotta be something. Gah, what am I thinking? I can't eat Twig. He's my friend. I could never. Ouch. Twig what the heck? Oh come on. Just let me have one wing. It's not like you ever use it anyway. Alright, then I get to eat your brain. It's not like you ever use it anyway. Fine. Keep your precious wing nub. I'll just have a toe instead. What? You got six of them. You wouldn't even know it's missing. Look, a river. Let's go get some water. Finally. I haven't had a drink in days. I'm so hungry. Wait, what? Hungry? I think you mean thirsty. No, I'm hungry. Hungry for water. That's not what hungry means. Hungry is when you need food. Water isn't food. If it goes in my stomach, it's food. Okay, so if I shove this rock down your throat, is it food? I'm not that hungry anymore. Thirsty. What the heck is that thing? Oh, my cousin Greg told me about these things. They are called humans, I think. He said they are like, really dangerous, but I can't remember why. Do they have sharp teeth? No, that's not it. Sharp claws maybe? No, no claws at all actually. Hum, are they fast? Nah, they're really slow. Are they, I dunno, poisonous, maybe? You know what, I think that's it. That's what it was, they're poisonous. Ah, now I remember. They throw sharp sticks. Greg also said that they always hunt in packs. I wonder what cousin Greg's up to these days. I haven't seen him in forever. Let's focus on not dying first. Actually, now that I think about it, I saw him just last month. He tried to eat me, but I tried to eat him before too, so I guess we are even. Twig. Not the time. Hello Mladdy. I couldn't help, but notice you standing out here all alone. Pretty girl like you ought to have some company, and I must say, you're even more stunning up close. What? My dear, your jagged blood-stained smile shines as bright as the sun itself. Looking into your savage eyes is like staring up into a starry night sky. You got it all baby. The only thing you're missing is a strong handsome man to take care of you. And, well, here I am. Ah, I see. Playing hard to get. Tough luck little guy. I've got you now. Things that Jurassic Park got wrong. What the? What's this? The Dilophosaurus in the film is portrayed as a small dog sized creature when in reality they grew to be around 20 feet long. Wait, what? Also, real Velociraptors were only about the size of a modern day turkey. Oh come on. And they were covered in feathers. Of course. What was that you were saying before? Tough luck little guy. Yeah yeah. Just eat me already. 